What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the Havoc OS latest build and this is again Android 11 based ROM and yes I have been using this ROM as my daily driver for a long time now and my experience so far has been amazing and one of the best that I have found on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. If you're someone who is comfortable with still using Android 11, if you're someone who wants to enjoy Android 12, I would say go for the Pixel OS that's pretty much like a go-to recommendation for me at least but if you want to get the most stable experience on top of android 11 this is the one you should go for and yes this is the 23rd april 2022 build as you can see this is the havoc quiz version 4.16 and you can get the download links and stuff from the description and if you have no idea how to flash this from you can check out the cards or the description again right now talking about the about section this is how it looks like we got the android version right there as android 11 the havoc quiz version is 4.16 and the security patch is right now latest of april 5th 2022 and we have the havoc OS logo up top again then if you want to see the kernel version and stuff you can see that right there and we have the SNLX status as enforcing. Here we have the build date as 23rd April 2022. And you can check out the build number from right here too. In the system settings, you will find much more things like the Gboard and stuff is right there as the default keyboard. And we have the system updater. If you want to check for updates, you definitely can do that from right here. Let me go back. We have the device specific settings from here. We have the high refresh rate on top. And of course, I have been using it with the 120 Hertz. That has been working super great. The dreaming is still there and you can use it. The Mi Audio Didact is still present and we have the Youth Edition and stuff and all these presets are working perfectly fine. I have tried my wired headsets, they sound really awesome in this particular ROM and with the Youth Edition it sounds even better I would say. And we have the sound presets from here, you can choose from these many presets and we have the hi-fi audio option right here. This is how the settings panel looks like. It looks beautiful I would say and it still has huge amount of customizations inside this configuration center and as you can see all these customizations are still present of course i can't show you all of them every time but here if you want to see the customizations and stuff you can check out the other half a quest video that i made but just to talk about the customizations a bit in the status bar we have the clock the logo and the brightness control and stuff and you can control the brightness just by sliding a finger like this and this is very helpful and handy feature in my opinion we have the double tap to sleep right there and we have the network speed and stuff and of course we can change the battery icon style to these many icons then we have the battery percentage changing option to the next to the icon option then we have the battery bar the status bar icons and stuff all these things are there in the quick settings too you can customize it thoroughly you can customize the column and row numbers and stuff then we got the lock screen customization from here you can control the background blur the charging info and stuff the pocket detection double tap to sleep on the lock screen then we have the buttons and gestures from here you can go into the system navigation gestures here you have the like gesture bar length customization but there is no thickness customization as of right now and we have the swipe action so this is the extended swipe action so you can customize that too if you want let me go back we have the two button and three button navigations as well and here we have the wake device and stuff let me go back we have the other gestures like the swipe click screenshot and stuff they are working perfectly fine the edit delete everything is working perfectly fine even there is the long screenshot option i guess and we have the misc settings right here we have the wake device and the show animation and stuff and all these things are present still and you want to be like having any kind of issues with the customizations because the customization panel is just huge so let's just go home from here and let me show you the home screen now this is how the home screen looks like it looks beautiful in my opinion to the left you get the google's discover page and it looks awesome again and we have the app drawer if you swipe up and if you swipe down you get the quick selling panel of course i have customized that and here the double tap to slip is there i'll show you that let me just enable the always on display from here with this toggle but you can edit and add even more toggles if you want to this stuff this is kind of bugged out right now because i just disabled the rock theme so if i reboot the system ui or something it will be fixed so with the always on display let me just double tap anywhere in the home screen and this is how the always on display looks like it looks beautiful again and double tap to wake 2 is working perfectly fine here now let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed just notice how fast it unlocks i just tap the fingerprint scanner and it unlocks it is blazing fast no issues whatsoever that i have had with the fingerprint scanner and yes it unlocks 100 percent of the time no issues whatsoever again one of the fastest experience with the fingerprint scanner no issues whatsoever that i have faced over here with the fingerprint scanner it unlocks very fast and a very snappy experience it gives right now let me talk about the face unlock 
So let's just quickly set it up. Right now I'm just gonna go home and then I'll just double tap and as you can see it's using the face unlock to unlock device. Let me try one more time. And as you can see it is very fast and snappy experience. Also inside this face unlock settings you can have this skip lock screen and stuff but also we have the swipe to unlock so if you enable that and right now I have to swipe up if I want to unlock the device. As you can see I swipe up and then only it uses the face unlock. Otherwise if I just double tap it does not use the face unlock. So yeah you get these kind of customizations for the face unlock too. And while it's using the face unlock just notice up close. As you can see there is that black border on the front camera. If you can notice that I hope you can see that. So yeah while using the face unlock we have the black border right there. So that is actually working perfectly fine also in video calls that appear. Now also there is an app lock and this is how the app locker UI looks like. You can customize the app locking UI like you can lock any particular app that you want to lock and we have this unlock settings like you can do it instantly 15 seconds and screen off. This is for the automatic lock app and here you can search for any particular app that you want to lock. So pretty much it's great customizations and here let me actually show you I have locked this particular app and this is how the locked app UI looks like whenever it's locked whenever you are trying to open it. And here as you can see it says confirm your lock screen pattern or password. So right now I have to tap the fingerprint scanner and as you can see that app has been unlocked. So yeah the app lock is working perfectly fine here no issues whatsoever. By the way we get this shady launcher by default over here and you get plethora of customizations like in the gestures we have the double tap to sleep and stuff we have the app drawer customization and the home screen customizations are there too. We have the grid customization then we have the icon customization. So yeah huge amount of customizations in terms of the stock launcher. Now let's talk about the most interesting thing about this Havoc OS well that's the Anix camera. Right now almost everything has been fixed and I have tested it thoroughly and yes the 64 megapixel and stuff everything is working perfectly fine here. No issues whatsoever that you will face over here. Let me actually take a 64 megapixel photo and as you can see from the info this is a 64 megapixel photo which I just took and here if I zoom it in and yes it is a little bit hazy because it's night time and there is low light and stuff but yeah. Otherwise I would say the 64 megapixel is actually working fine so that's great and even the vlog mode and stuff everything is working great from here. Also in the pro mode there is the pro video and from here you can see up to 4k 30fps option is there and of course you can shoot manual video if you want to definitely as you are noticing. So yeah you do get the 4k 30fps video and stuff and even if you want to take a portrait selfie or something that is actually working perfectly fine. As you can see the portrait selfie mode is working perfectly fine here. So the Anix camera experience overall on this particular ROM is just amazing and I have been getting really really amazing experience with the Anix camera on the latest Havoc OS. And talking about the quick setting panel we still have the Wi-Fi, the mobile data and the Bluetooth and stuff and the flashlight, the dark theme everything is there. We of course have the always on display toggle, the volume panel and stuff. This is how the volume panel looks like and after you connect a Bluetooth headset as you can see you can see the battery right there. And if you want to see that on the status bar too, that appears over there. And here let me show you some more things like the FPS info. It appears on the top left just like this. And 120 FPS is working perfectly fine here. You shouldn't worry about that. Then we also have the screen recorder and you can record the device audio and microphone audio at the same time. No issues with that. I apologize for the exposure issues over there. But yeah, I just figured out the exposure was not locked on my Redmi K20 Pro. I'm shooting this video on the Redmi K20 Pro. So yeah, let's continue. We have the reading mode and stuff, then the data saver, the do not disturb, etc. Also the battery saver is there. The battery saver is really helpful. Here's the battery settings. This is how it looks like. We have the battery logo right there. If you want to see the full usage, you can just tap here and you can see the full usage. But let me actually scroll down. We have this battery temperature right here on the bottom. And right now it's 40 degrees because it's summer, but yeah. Overall I would say the experience with the battery has been great and I have been using the device for a long time now with this particular ROM and I have used the Aku battery app over here too and with the Aku battery app let me actually show you by scrolling down. I have got about 9 hours of screen on time I would say so that's pretty great considering this device is getting a little old like a year old almost but yeah with that too 9 hours of screen on time is really great. And I do have about 92% battery health left 
right here you can see and i have gone through a lot of charging cycles if you're noticing so yeah with those charging cycles i have been getting pretty much nine hours of screen on time so i would say that's pretty decent for the redmi note 10 pro other than that we still get the display settings and stuff the blur windows the night light and stuff everything is there this is how the display settings looks like we have the pocket detection again the double tap to wake and stuff everything is there and yes they are working perfectly fine and in the sound settings we do get the alarm volume and stuff in the media volume controller and we have the vibration and haptic feedbacks you can control the vibration from right here and if you scroll down more we have the dial pad tones the screen locking sound charging sound charging vibration etc options right now let me show you the basic things like the safety net and stuff yes safety net passes right out of the box that's really a pro in this rom that you do not need to worry any kind of banking apps not working over here because banking apps are working flawlessly right out of the box in this particular rom also, the DRM info shows as L1 over here, so you can stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p without any issues. Now, let's talk about the IR Bluster of this ROM. And here, if you're noticing, the IR Bluster is actually working perfectly fine. So, no issues whatsoever with the IR Bluster present on the device. Now, talking about overall performance and stuff, and here, this is the recent panel, and we can take a screenshot. From right here, we have the clear all and the lock option too. And they are working perfectly fine, even with the split screen and stuff. If you want to go split screen, okay, so this is showing an ad. So if you go split screen, as you can see, they are working perfectly fine without any issues. But yeah, this is not, of course, the Android 12 L kind of split screen. It doesn't switch the apps or something like that if you are expecting those. The performance overall was great. The widgets in the home screen are working fine. And if you want to see the benchmarks here are the Android and Geekbench score of this particular ROM with a CPU stress test. I feel this is one of the best experience that you can get on top of Android 11 for the Redmi Note 10 Pro as of right now in April 2022 with Havoc OS on this device. It's running super great and I have been really enjoying this ROM with ANX camera almost perfectly working I would say. The overall experience for me was amazing. Let me in the comments what do you guys think. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today. I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.